Hideaki Itsuno is leaving Capcom. This is maybe the least shocking thing ever. Everyone was like, oh my God. And I'm like, he got to make the two games he said he wanted to make before he left Capcom. And then he left. Now, to be fair, he left and still has new ideas that he's going to be working on in a new environment. Yeah, um, so to but, me that says they were like, hey, what, what do you got? What do you got for DMC six? And he's like, I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> I so, put every idea I had for that thing in there. Um, for yeah, so so for anyone who doesn't know, Itsuno is one of the backbones of Capcom. Uh, he he's been there since 1994, and uh, he was was a part of the arcade division, and that was eventually Production Studio One. You know, like the, the, the production studio names like got all named like later on after the fact and stuff, but like mm -hmm. they were the originals. Um and yeah, that is that is Daddy Devil May Cry and Absolutely Daddy Dragon's Dogma. Now as we know, when the creative force behind a Devil May Cry game leaves, the series is then doomed for one game. <laughs> That's the sacrifice. <laughs> and then and then the, we'll get the new guy and they will kick ass at it. Um so I think it's all it certainly is possible that the new Capcom with all this new blood in it can get a DMC off the ground. Oh, absolutely. Maybe even a ladies night type project. It's not impossible for that to occur and it for it to not be for it to and it can be good. You know, the bones Absolutely. are there. Um, we don't... We Peak of Combat is... I, I foresee a Devil May Cry 6 over there. in we the don't near talk about future that. in which the big complaint is, ah, oh, I didn't really try enough new things. That might be it, right? Um, um, they played it a little too safe. Which... Virgil again? <laughs> <laughs> which, I mean, to be honest, like in a world of like so dmc2 was a you know horrendous departure um bayonetta 3 was a disappointment um if we don't Bro, in two years you and i are gonna have we're gonna mention bayonetta 3 and we're both gonna go that <laughs> fucking desert level holy shit because that's the like i feel like like DMC, ah, DMC two is just it's bad, and they didn't even know what the series was yet when they were making that. They didn't know, you know. Bayo is well after you know what it is, and I'm just like, what were you thinking? Besides the parts of DMC five that you wanted to grab, I think I think Vanetta is like a wild series because you're like, oh, you know, the first game had some rough edges. It'd be really cool if they smooth those rough edges out. And the response was, let's improve different things and not fix any of those. And you're like, oh, okay. And then the third game comes around. It's like, let's improve different things again and not fix any of the problems from the second game either. Bayo 3 really will go down in the history book, says, man. <laughs> that is, that Come is. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't, I don't want to fall into the thinking of being like the auteur is the only way this series can ever exist, right? Well, many times the auteur is wrong. Um, there, there are times, but also it's not a Kojima situation where it's like the voice and flavor of the no, thing. Man. Many people have worked on, on yeah. the Devil May Cry. Like, 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 Kojima's games are his voice. That's less important to these games here. Oh, absolutely. Um, so I do think the team and everyone else involved can. It's get like that a good done. example is like for a long time people would say like uh, the Like a Dragon series is like Nagoshi's fucking brain put onto a, a game disc, and then they made like uh, two games without them, and they were good, and no. they still felt the same. Now, will Capcom want to make another Dragon's Dogma uh, soon? No. I don't. No, they won't. I don't no. think that's going to no, be the case. I just, I think they. I do not think so. I think they were hoping for bigger and better things from this last one. Um, but that, that was Itsuno's like pet project. Yeah. So, so with that, I guess I, I feel like not too bad about this because I'm like, I don't think this means Devil May Cry is dead. No, man. Um, and I think he gets to go on to something he's excited about. So that's that's cool. 
you know? I think the most disappointing thing that could possibly happen with Hideaki Itsuno is um, he makes a new company. That's coming. Or, he's like, work, or he would, uh, gets hired somewhere else. I mean. A couple weeks, right? He's going to make a new... And then um, in a year and a half, we get, hey, check out this uh, difficult, suave excitement game called angels uh -huh. angels joy sure or whatever the fuck no i and it's like the same fucking thing and you're like come on i mean no i, I think he is more up his sleeve like he really loves devil may cry and dragon's dogma if you work at a company from 1994 and the only two things you really lock in on are those two and star gladiator <laughs> i think he, I, I i think no fuck it fuck it okay throwback um, game Dungeons and Dragons, The Dead 3, and it's a fucking modern sequel to goddamn Shadows of Mistara. And it's Baldur's Gate 3 in fucking side-scroller form. Go! And the, the, the title you're looking for is Angel Lols. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. That's Angel Lols. I lied. That's not what I was thinking. Okay, well... Um, yo, we're looking, we're in a world where Nitsuma and Itsuno are not at Capcom anymore. Um, well, in a couple of years, we'll have a new person to point at and go, they made the game good. Uh, even though it was a team effort. Yeah, the, the Street Fighter 6 duo, Matsumoto mm -hmm. and, um, shit. Fuck. We're gonna get there. Mm -hmm. It's not burnt in yet. But yes, those two are great. Um, there's new blood coming in. In addition to this old, to the old blood leaving, and uh, Nakayama, thank you. Um, it's ex it's cool that it's like these leg these these legends are leaving, and then we've got you know some new names that are like doing good shit there, and uh, openly saying, oh yeah, fuck yeah, we want to make more Marvel. 